Hi guys, welcome back to Collins Custom Street Fighter Conversion. Uh, this week we're going to be removing the carburetors. I did say I was going to re be removing the engine this week, but I think I'll do it next time. I've got to get all the carburetors off first, get all the wiring out of the way and everything. So uh, this video will be removing the carburetors because. Uh, I don't want to remove the engine to this week because my back is killing me. It's my own fault. I was playing piggyback with the wife last night and uh, I kept falling off. So anyway, let's get on with it. Okay then, the first thing I'm going to remove is these air duct things for the air filter. There's a little Allen bolt under there. That's all that's secure in that. Nice little bolt, I'll save that. This should just slide out like so. Uh, I'm not going to check the carburetors or anything on this, I don't think. I am having a straight through exhaust on it, but hopefully it won't need any jetting. So I'm going to leave these on. So when the Street Fighter is done, you don't really want to be looking at that, do you? So I'm going to have to somehow hide it. Whether I could just leave that off and just leave it like that, I don't know. And the next bolt for the air filter is just under this lot. I'm going to have to bend this tab back. and get this fuel pipe out of the way. Okay, now we've got a 10mm socket. Still doesn't want to fit. No, it does fit, it's just loose. Uh, that's it. It's the bolt. And there will be one on the other side. So here we are on the other side, there's the other 10mm bolt. bolt right out. Then we've just got to uh, take this other end up pipe off. See if I can find it with fuel. There it is. There's that one. We just take the bolt out of that door because it rattles like mad. You can hear it all the way through the video. breeze and the bolt on the bottom of the door just rattles and rattles and drives you mad. So uh, next, next we will need a crosshead screwdriver to get these clamps off. Hopefully they're going to come off without too much trouble. Let's try number one. Yep, that one went pretty easy. Oh yes, let's get this rubber pipe out of the way. Uh, we've cracked this one with no problem. We've cracked that one with no problem. Uh, let's try the other two on the far side. Come on. No, this side's not going to have it. Oh, yes, it is. Bracket bent a bit, but. So. Let's try the last one. <laughs> no, the last one's not going to do it, is it? The last one isn't going to budge at all. So the last one, as usual, the last one's not going to come undone, so get you in a better position. See if we can do it with a bit of brute force and ignorance. 
Maybe you can see what I'm trying to do now. See we've undone all these fruit. This last one, no. So let's try a bit of brute force and ignorance, shall we? Aha! Now do we think this is going to come out? I don't think it's going to come out there because it's got these side bits on. These side wing things, in ducks, here in ducks, where they bloody are. They're going to have to come off as well with the looks of it. This side is just bonded in. So, what's with the other side? There, uh, yeah, look. Body drive screws, not body drive. Cross head screws. Let's get this out and see what happens. They're quite long. <laughs> There's always something that won't come undone, isn't there? Always. There's three fucking screws. There's another one hiding up there. That's two out. That's just that stupid last one. I don't think it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. The impact driver. done any good but so well fuck all <sighs> oh, fuck you now anyway that's it for today I'll be back tomorrow Yeah, people who keep saying this is my donor bike, are you having a laugh or what? <laughs> no, it's not my donor bike, it's my uh, regular running bike. Well, it is until I get the... Uh, divvy up and running right. Still plenty to do on this. So when this is running right, this will be gone. And then, when that's gone, this will be back on the road. Not that you know where it is, because it's covered up. But it is the Green Street Friday bike. And then that's on the road. This will be gone. And then, when that's on the road, this will be gone as, no, that will be gone. And uh, hopefully before the winter comes, I'll be riding a R1150. Don't all be up to that, but that is my dream. So anyway, this is the next day. Stuck on one little cross-edged stupid screw Just to get this stupid air filter box out. Suppose I can get the carburetors out without taking that out, can't I? So what I'm now thinking is the air box. I can get the carburetors off first because there's plenty of room 
I think. When the cup when the when I pull that back I should be able to get the carburetors out. And when the carburetors are out of the way, this ear box will hopefully come forward. I should be able to lift out and I can try and get that stupid screw out. But uh, still not as easy as it seems. Because if you look at the carburetor clamps, they are down there, look. I think they've got a cross head in them. But can you get your screwdriver in from the top? No way. Can you get your screwdriver in from the bottom? No way. So we'll have to get some 8mm spanner or something on them. So first we're going to have to get this bracket out of the way and see if we can get some sort of spanner or socket in there. I haven't found the middle carburetor yet, so uh, I don't know. It's going to be great fun, isn't it? I guess let's get this bracket off. I have to save these brackets because I might be chopping the fairing up and using parts of it somehow. Does that make the view any easier? Oh, I don't know what you're going to get in there. Is that the right bracket or what? Or is it this one? There's, a... yeah, there's two brackets. Oh, there is a positive. You dippy. Oh, pardon me. My mistake. Yes, I don't know if you can see just there. That's the clamp. The other clamp is for the manifold. This clamp is for the carburetor. So I should be able to get to it with the posi drive. Just ignore what I say because old age is a terrible thing. So it should be there. Look wood done. Oh, that's pretty easy. Where's my torch? Yeah, it's coming done. done. I wonder where the next one is. So bear with me while I try and find the next one. Yeah. Trying to find the clamp bolt on this one, but I can't find it, so let's get this bloody pipe out of the way for a start. Just a Jubilee clip with a 8mm nut. Not a nut, you know what I mean. An 8mm socket spanner bolt thing. Excuse my arm in the way, that's it. Get that out of the way. Very big enough. Give it a twist. Break the seal. It's not full of water. Please don't be full of water. No water whatsoever. Trevor. Just uh, shoot that down there out of the way. Then can we see the other bracket? Can we see the other bracket? Oh, it's down the bottom. See how loose this one is. <laughs> Gosh, this is going to be good fun. Can't tell if it's going round or not. If it's going round, it was a bit too easy. Down it. Let's try and find the middle two. Okay, so we found the uh, middle carburetor screws. If you can see up there, but there they are, right in there. Hopefully you can see that. 
So that's going to be good fun, isn't it? So let's get you back on the tripod and see if I can get them undone. Okay, you're not going to be able to see this very well, but uh, just for those of you who are, oh, I've got my CBR1000F and they're thinking of taking their carburetors off. I will film this bit just to show you how difficult it is going to be. So let's try and find the screw again. I've lost it. Where are we? I think I'm even going to reach it from the screwdriver. No, I can't even reach it with that screwdriver. So here we are, I'm back. This is what I've come up with. Got this T-bar, these long screwdriver. Hopefully I'm going to reach it with that. Let's see how we get on. Cool, the bloody birds are happy today, aren't they? Tell it's spring, do not you? And then try and find the bloody screw again. Oh, this is a bit awkward. Bloody camera in the way as well. I think that's it. I think we've got it. Oh. Now we've just got to get to the other side, so I'm going to have to pull the bike over, over this way. Okay, so this is two hours later. I've got the bike over there a bit more. Now we've got to try and find that screw down there somewhere. I don't think you can see it, but you might be able to. It's a bit easier this side to see than it was the other side. Right, I think I've hit it. Let's try and get some pressure on it. This one looks nice and rusty. See if I can find a socket and get a socket on it somehow. Okay, I'm pretty sure there are eight mil the socket goes on. Pretty sure that eight mil. So what I've come up with is this an extension bar. So I just take the socket off, put the extension bar in, put the socket on the end. And I've got a nice long tool, which hopefully is going to work. I would say this is better than the screwdriver because you can get more leverage on it, but let's see if we can sit on it properly. There, we can't even get on it properly, can we? Or can we go on it? Because that one's in the way. Tight. It's always the one that's looking tight, isn't it? It's very tight and corroded up as well. Oh my god. I don't know if you could see it. You might be able to just see it. That one there. The actual clamp is twisted where I've managed to get the socket on it slightly. Maybe if I can get something in there and bend it that way. I'll have to get the socket on it a bit better. These things are certainly here to try as aren't they? Let's see what I can find. Right, what I'm thinking of now is if I can get this clamp right out of the way, I might be able to get my socket on the other clamp a bit better. Let's undo this all the way. That's it. If I can move this clamp out of the way. Let's see if I can get back onto that. 
bit better. Now that's just bloody knocked on air up. Oh, Japanese people with the tiny hands. Not that I've uh, got out against Japanese people, but but they could just get their hand up there and get a little spanner. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Get this bloody thing off as well. Come on, out of the way. It's oh, better. Got that out of the way fully. And where's my tool? There it is. I've got to get it through that end, don't I? If I had a bendy bar, it would be alright. We've done it a bit. It's oh. so, alright, it's the wife trying to get a dent out of the bonnet. I think I've done it. Yeah, well done. Yeah. You ought to come and try and get this bolt one done for me. Shows you how clever the wife is, doesn't it? Have we got the new car, or well, not the new car, the second hand car. We open the bonnet and then it won't close. So of course the forcing on the bonnet would made a dent in it. And the wife's come up with the brilliant idea of using her sat nav sucker what sticks on the window screen, putting it on the bonnet, pulling the dent out. Sounds like she's done it. Clever girl. So yes, I think we've got this one undone. So now finally we should be able to get the uh, carburetors off. <sighs> Let's have a go. Yeah, I remember having this trouble with the XJ, didn't I? I? Had to drill all these clamps off and then in the end when I pulled on the carburetors all the rubbers just in disintegrated. So they came off anyway. Okay, then. Let's see if we can get these carburetors off. Like I thought. Solid as a rock. <laughs> no movement whatsoever. Let's try it with a tire lever. Very gently. Still interview, I could see them moving on the rubbers. God, these are going to be fun to get back on, aren't they? I think that's it. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. So, hopefully, we can get these out here. fuel pipe still on look. Still got the fuel pipe on but it's just uh, connected there with these clips. So we'll move that first. Wind you down a bit. Down periscope. You might be able to see it there. If we get the pliers on that. Out of the way, break the seal on this. Mm. 
exit. So they look alike. Oops. <laughs> Disappeared. That one's alright. That one's alright. That one's alright. Oh, it's come back now. Come back, come back, come back. There we go. Now then, just got to get the cables off. This is the choke cable. Hopefully that's going to come undone fairly easy. Just uh, come out of the groove. We need a 10mm open-ended spanner for... Well that one ain't got a lot not on it, but that one has. Okay, so I've found my open-ended 10mm. Garbage letters haven't seized up, I should be able to turn the wheel to there. Find a notch and pull the cable out. But that's that cable out. And I'm going to do this one. Bloody tweeted we're just still at it, aren't we? That's it, that's that one. Let's see where we can find the uh, cable. Where the cable locates in there, look. So if we can get that into the right place, we should be able to get it out of the slot. And yes, you probably guessed it's a great fun trying to get them back on. There we are. Out of the slot, into another slot. So there we are, carburetors removed. Gone. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but sort of in a rainbow shape rather than a straight line. So I bet they're going to be good fun trying to get these screws undone to clean these out. So anyway that's the carburetors out. The gearbox is still nicely stuck in there. I think I've got to move all these wires and stuff. It should come out but I'll do that at another time. So next week we can probably definitely get uh, started on getting the engine out. Or oh, I don't know, I might get the clocks off and stuff. Get rid of all the electrics first. Yeah, next week I might get rid of all the electrics. And the week after I can drop the engine out. So, thanks for watching me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, please comment because you're not commenting very much. You lot are very quiet guys. Uh, subscribers, yes, I'm getting quite a few trickles at the moment. About five or six every weekend. Rising my subscribers up, so if you're new subscribers, welcome. And old subscribers, thanks for being loyal. Yep. So, I think that's covered everything. If you do want to subscribe, there's a little white box down there. It says subscribe. Just click that. And uh, hopefully I'll see some new and old subscribers next week. So, thanks for watching. Bye.